Hello everyone, this is Lenovo Olin on PC B5030 as you can see. Such a great machine, comes with Intel Core i5 processor and good graphics option, but it comes with 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. So today we're going to show you how to upgrade the SSD and replace the 3.5 inch slow SATA hard drive. So first of all, we need to have some tools and especially the Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna slide this out the back cover as you can see the model number right in there okay the customer tried to open it by themselves and broken some hooks but still this is okay as you can see the product family Lenovo B50-30 and now <clears throat> we go access into the hard drive there are two options you can either uh, pull this out without removing the handle or if you remove the handle then you have much more option to work with so this one secure with four screws one two three four and all of them same in size so we're going to take this out and then we'll have some extra room to replace the hard drive with comfortably okay so let's open up you can keep it together because the screws are same in size and one more thing you have to be careful this screen is very bulky because a huge size you know so make sure the surface is clean when you put it upside down otherwise you're gonna find some shutters on the screen you know that's what happened so two and two four now we can pull this out straight away so we do have more extra room to take it out there is one screw it seems like this one holds the actual uh, hard drive but it doesn't we don't have to take this out I realized it once I tried so just push the click the buckle and you can pull this out and before you pull it out make sure you disconnect the setter power lead and data lead which is together and that's the 3.5 inch set of hard drive which is very bulky and very slow for 2021 okay now you can choose any sort of SSD it has to be uh, not M.2 the setup because there is no any port for M.2 and I choose at this time a data SU630 which is 240 gig that would be a nice upgrade option for this model and as you can see this is quite bulky the big size right so might be you are thinking how I'm gonna where I'm gonna find the caddy for actual SSD right but you don't need any caddy because there is some good option first I'm gonna take out these two screw to see if it's useful or not okay and later on I find out no this is not useful so I'm gonna leave it like that we don't need it anyway okay and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some double-sided tape as you can see the actual screen panel the back of the screen is quite flat so I think we probably can take the advantage of it but anyway I'm gonna keep the plastic you know caddy as a protection so first let's take this out And then we're gonna try to find some double-sided tape. Okay. Okay. So let's connect it first. See. Okay, that would be a nice fit. Connected. And that's the double-sided tape. Normally, I use it for smartphone repair. But this time I'm going to use in this all in one PC just to hold the SSD. By the way, this SSD weight is very, very, you know, light. So that would not be a problem, I think. So I'm going to apply some double sided tape in there.
All right, so now we're going to click the caddy back. So that's going to keep it protected in case if it drops the double sided tape. And now the four screws. And then closing the back cover is quite tricky. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's fold the four screws first. All right, the common mistake people does, they try to close it from the top, but it's going to slide back, you know. And if you push forward, then it's going to uh, get into the place. So from here and from there. If you click, that should be fine. So that's how you upgrade the SSD on this model, B50-30 Lenovo. Still, if you do have any question, leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.